Good morning guys, it's Monday, March 11. I'm so used to saying February. But yeah, I'm looking for better lighting, I think. It's nice over here. So yeah, it's Monday, uh, March 11th. And I'm thankful. Because <laughs> you know, sometimes when I'm going to be happy, I'm happy. I'm going to be happy with my dog. On one side, I'm going to be happy with my dog. It's not a good thing. It's lingering. So through the day, you're feeling you know not a hundred percent but yeah i woke up well i thank god i've not been straining myself so i'm feeling better um, and i'm really grateful honestly so today i thought in takatu nani edit you know his screen and i don't know if i should stand do you see me better now so yeah um i thought today ah kazi itakuwa tu ku chill na ku edit but um i had bought some banana zinaitwa nini mbegu ya banana banana seedling because these are so huge kuitwa <laughs> seedlings so uh my neighbors who are now my friends actually waliniambia watanisaidia kupanda because ilikuja saa to evening watu wamenisaidia kuchimba so i wanted to go to town and do some shopping because i tried to do shopping at least once a week like grocery shopping and other kind of errands because i live far from town so at least once a week and uh, so leo sikuwa napanga kwenda tao jua hiyo story ya kupanda mandizi and then i thought ah pia nita rest but then i remembered i actually don't have eggs because you know my chicken have been brooding incubating thank you <laughs> for my followers on youtube kwa kuni chanwi na itangu youtubing i mean brooding otherwise say ini ngekwa nasema kulalia mai and so when the chicken are brooding um you know they don't lay eggs so i'll be without eggs from my chicken for maybe i don't know is it two three weeks as kilea and then you know as they get back on their groove so nimeishi one my eye and you know i cook pancakes a lot for myself or for visitors and so i have to go to one of my neighbors i decided to go there today i've been wanting to go for a while in venice patangi chance but i think today is a good day for me to go there it's uh not like a long walking distance so i'll actually try and take you guys along you see my other part of the neighborhood which is still rural and bushy and i like it that way and so she actually keeps chicken it's a lady i've never met her i only find her workers when i go there i think yeah this is a great ziki and she sells them like you know in wholesale in bulk so yes this is your chicken farmer yule mwenyewe so i'll try and see if i can show you how she does her thing over there so those are the two errands that i have today kupanda um, mandizi kwenda kwa neighbor ku buy mayai and also my other neighbors wameanza ku fence uh, shamba yao so hopefully i can film and show you guys how fencing should be done the right way obviously i'm not an expert i'm not saying they're experts either but i'm just sharing uh, what others are doing and uh, if it's a good thing we learn if it's a bad thing we learn from together because mini li fenciwa na siku chimbiwa shimo fence li yekwa tu but he is juna itua ni mesh wire he ina kuanga diamond diamond ina need kuchimbiwa because otherwise it's so easy for like goats especially if you live in places like mass island when you kuna goats mob for them to for the goats to lift the fence so but ukichimba unaona it is a kunini ku lift because me i actually had now to pay the people who were working for me ile mchanga tulikuwa tumechimba ya maram tumwagie kwa a whole acre well ile side ile ni bwa chini atukumwagia but almost the whole acre let's say three quarter of it we had to do that so none of it's extra work um but i didn't know inafaa kuchimbiwa until someone walked by one day and looked at it and they're like hey inafaa kuchimbiwa and me i was like what yani inafaa kuchimbiwa if it's like an acre or two but these neighbors did it so na see it is more deep than just kitu kidogo which i've i've I'll actually show you in an upcoming vlog so yeah i hope you're doing all right wherever you are me i'm doing great i thank god and yeah thank you so much for your support i really appreciate i know it sounds like a song honestly ni kind of memorize but i mean it from my heart like thank you so much for supporting me for your support uh, on my channel by liking by watching by subscribing by sharing by commenting you don't know you have no idea how what it means to me especially as a new youtuber it means a lot it means a lot because i've always wanted to do youtube for a long time 
but I kept shying away from it because I was like you know sometimes fame and publicity is not you know I could, yes kuna pesa let's say kwa fame na publicity but there's also a negative side uh, to it so I was like hey, can I handle the negative side of publicity or putting yourself out there but I've decided since it's a passion of mine let me do it because you know when I die on my deathbed hopefully when I'm really old I want to look back and not regret that I never did YouTube if that's what I wanted because actually my first love was journalism uh, when I was in high school so I feel like I've ended up doing what I like just in a different way because I wanted to be like a news anchor and stuff <laughs> but at least I feel like I'm still doing uh, what I wanted you know journalism but now in a different way and I actually like it because you know I create my own content you know you're kind of your own boss so this YouTubing thing is something that I love something that I want to take seriously and your support means a lot like I know sometimes you hear me saying thank you for liking sharing nini, nini. it sounds like ah, too, but you have no idea it really means a lot so please continue to support me and I really appreciate you and I wish you all the best in your endeavors as well so when these bananas arrived on saturday evening obviously i couldn't plant them myself because of obvious reasons you have to bend in a surgery and stuff and carrying heavy stuff and here's the mbolea as well so when the bananas came on saturday evening i left them here in this bucket of water but really my neighbor uh, the plumber who helped me with my tank as well suggested that we remove them from the water because he's saying sometimes the roots can uh, rot if it's kyo kwa maji sana because remember they were there from all saturday night all sunday morning saloni monday so he said to toys zito kwa maji ndio roots zisinini zisioze na zikose kumea and then he was saying that this part of the banana has a lot of water to sustain it for like even a week or so and so they are fencing over there and then they're gonna help me with uh planting the bananas when they are finished so the nyantafanya minta kimbia ni bae mayai and then tukuje tupande let these guys out earlier they are hanging out kwa shamba they're so disciplined they don't go far which i really like because they just hang around the home na sometimes zata nikiwa inje like naosha nguo they come and hang around where i am so i'm glad i don't have to chase them a lot although maria kwanza the new the new ones would make me chase them around zinaenda kwa neighbor and then you know neighbor had a lot of chicken and she says that has disappeared one by one but here had a fence vizuri kama mimi so zake zilikuwa in fact tukijenga zilikuwa zinapenya from kwake zinakuja kwangu when i used to live in this kahao and then <laughs> nilikuwa so ningine ni meka kanyanya hapo you know kasabuni kamkate so zake zilikuwa zinakuja and then unajua sasa tulikuwa tunaishi i mean nilikuwa naishi solo yes but i had mafundi in and out because sasa hii ndio ilikuwa store ya masimiti and tools na pia nilikuwa nalala hapa jioni so unaona mchana when fundis are coming in and out to get stuff from this store uh, which was my house unaona sengine watu wanaacha mlango wazi so akiacha mlango wazi hizo kuku zinakuja Hey, unakuta nyanya imeumwa mkate imeumwa sabuni imeumwa and then they even started getting used to this house baka tunapata mayai we found like eggs twice here from two different chickens unaona inaenda kujificha nyuma ya gunia so me what i did i took the eggs when the fundis showed me and then pia one day nikapata mayai nikapelekea neighbor nikamwambia hizi ni za kuku zako na zinakuja kwangu zinaniharibia nyanya you know chakula sabuni nini nini so please zifungie cuz usipozifungia uh, next time zikitega mayai sasa mimi nitakuwa na kule hiyo mayai so she was like okay ntoku higira nini nini she never fungiad but eventually imagine they disappeared her chicken disappeared so I think fencing is very important cuz you know has I think she would let them roam baka uko not just kwangu mpaka uko kwa msitu na you know says kwenda kwa msitu you never know kama ni kitu inazikula ama ni mtu anategea na ana grab you never know so I'm glad zangu they don't roam far away from the home So what I've decided to do is move this banana whatever <laughs> seedlings from then you need the sun 
so that they come and chill here kwa kivuli ndio at least basi zikauke sana mama sai neighbors have brought out their cows to graze so i think wameanza na ngombe and then the sheep and the goats will follow soon so here's my neighbor that i was telling you they are fencing their land and look at that shiny fence looks really good quality and so they had to dug that trench that i was telling you and then now the job will be to masha Dero moti gwe kate. Weta kwa tena ngiko yokurikira. Eh. Yokurikira. Eh. Na tunaifinya chini. Eh, kufinya chini ya taj. Na kikuyu. Kuhinyereria. Kuhinyereria ni tikurikira. Eh. Mugushia na ade. And then muikirie teri. Tudike kama taroka. Eh ni. Oh ni guige kire ni die kirwo. You know. I just love the view of <laughs> these cows and sheep you have no idea like for me this is just beautiful you know nature and eh, I hope he doesn't hit me me I'm just trying to pass bro can I He's afraid of me Emma he's afraid of the camera <laughs> these two are having a friendly match that one of them fights i think it's this one i thought it's the other one big one but he ilikuwa inakaa nikae nataka kunikujia na ndume what so they actually have an easy task cuz they have like two acres and you see your side ni kona cho uko karibu na nyasi that one was already fenced by the neighbor i guess who got here first that side is already fenced so them they're only going to fence like this one side and that one side so it helps if you come later uh, after your neighbors have fenced cuz ina kwa rais like me i've fenced all over my one acre so my neighbors will have an easy task. I don't know why this ngombe is following me. I don't know if it's confusing me for the herder. Now the herder just passed Amanda uko. So, but they're usually friendly cows. Masai cows are usually friendly. Si kama hizo zingine za uko kwetu zinaweza kupiga. These ones are usually friendly. Although I grew up in Naro County uh, in Nairagiangare, I didn't grow up in this part of the county and like I said I just love seeing the view of cows around here. So this is how it's supposed to be guys. Ngizwe ndani and then wafunike na hii mchanga. That way there's no way mbuzi inaweza fungua. By the way, ukaunga utilio huo. Go in all the more way ka tay muta concentrate tu na chini. Wote baka zile. Mara tu tafunika mchanga. By the way ni kweli. Nisipofunika. Mbuzi pale tu mali tayisha kichwa ni hivyo. Ni hivyo. Something about their cows is just beautiful. Look at how long that fence is. This is called footing up, eh? Moja? 18 meters. 18 meters? What? So she tells me that she actually bought them here in Narok at a hardware. Looks like really good quality, but I don't know.
guys followed me when you nilikuja kutoka huko remember they were there zikanifuata mpaka huko sasa nimerudi hivi zinanifuata labda zinanusia hako kadamu kadogo ka kimasai niko nako so the goats and sheep are now out ndizo hizi zinakula kula they just make this area look so pretty honestly aja njata nabo aa ya unge ktomon njata tomon ye aya maisho Tobiania ke Mio lo ajo karana nuor gogoyo <laughs> na kanya robiani <laughs> Ah ah kai robiani kumok I deserve aja Aja Ah ya ah shomo Shomo pi I think they've bought a lot of uh, materials for fencing the wire maybe they overestimated because no one your corner is fenced oh something is flying towards me kuna hapo kaposhon kadogo hii yote unaona washaeka ile kona kwenye kuna ngombe already wanaeka karibu zingine mbili i think they've overestimated but it's always good i think to overestimate than underestimate oh look at this jelas kuna mtu akiride bike hizi sides most people use either maruti ndudhi or foot so i like seeing a bike here so guys when i first built my house in this area I honestly <laughs> thought that I had the best looking roof. See, that's my house over there, Sika Unaona. And look at this. This is really really well done. This is my neighbors. They built their roof to just juicy sometime last year. I've never been to their place, but um I remember when I was first constructing my house, uh the lady uh of the house in this homestead actually came to visit my construction site you know just to see how we were doing it and you know just to see if maybe there's something uh, she can borrow so i think i'll come visit her as well and talk to her about the roofing because i think it's well done i'm hoping and i believe that it's not leaking like mine and hopefully she can share with me the contacts of her you know roofing guys so that i can ask them to come and look at my roof and see if they can repair the places that are leaking and uh, interestingly you see she's fenced with uh mabati which is another method of fencing for privacy i guess you cannot afford if you cannot afford uh construct namawe but i'm sure they'll probably construct namawe sometime later if that's their thing and from here i can see they've also planted trees so it looks really beautiful hopefully she can allow me to visit her sometime and uh film some content from there like roofing and any challenges that she's gone through and even seeing how she's maintained her compound it just looks beautiful from here but i really admire her roofing so i'm on my way to buy the eggs right so unaona napitia msitu msitu and i feel like peeing when do you require you shall go you just find somewhere private and pee and so i'm looking for like a private bush to pee but to buy hata mali unafikiri it ni private unakutanga sasa hiyo ndio mtu anapita ama akio kwake anakuona so i want somewhere private where no one will see me with this idea raka raka as i go to where i'm going i just hate seeing plastics like this in such a beautiful surrounding i don't know why people don't just pick up after themselves honestly i just like kidding i mean i hate just seeing trash in a natural space like this so there are uh, a lot of construction activities uh, happening in narok and this is one of my neighbor's properties honestly at smg but in nyumba alianza to kimchezo mchezo sometime last year 
and uh, unakuta foundation imechimbwa wamejenga foundation kidogo kidogo nyumba imeinuka kidogo kidogo mabati kidogo kidogo niliona sasa juzi wameweka wall na cho and then something else when you're constructing unaona hiyo ukuta ya wall like they've done instead of building your toilet inside the compound like i did i should have known and i wasn't advised by my fundies that ukijenga ukuta jenga i mean jenga cho hata kama una doya ukuta sasa hiyo jenga cho kwanza place yenye ukuta itapitia zishikane unaona so that you're not wasting materials cuz kama mimi kwangu cho na bafu ziko huko ndani ya compound and then if i ever want to construct hii wall ya mawe unaona hii space yenye cho iko so itakuwa tu mawe na ningeji save a little bit by kujenga cho hapo so i think it's a good idea when people do this that hata kama utaanza na cho ya mawe ujenge cho ya mawe and then ukijenga ukuta ya mawe zinashikana tu na cho so i think it saves you uh, some materials over there how are you hapa leo so i think i can sneak in and film because you know it would be awkward to film when they are here na wanijui and then once they explain you to youtube and some people don't even get you know youtube ni nini ama take it seriously so there we go it looks really nice um i don't know how many bedrooms it is staki kuingia huko ndani sana but naona plumbing washafanya plumbing uh, angalia hiyo roof wamefanya power inaitangwa the slanted roof or something looks like they do have a toilet inside the house i think this is a really nicely done simple house um it could even be a three bedroom depending on how much size the bedrooms are or majaribu pia ku keep you indigenous tree maybe i should introduce myself to them and see if i can uh, learn more about their construction but it looks like a good idea it looks like you know pale ni bohol right kama well kuna kitu kama chimbo hapo na kama i think this is a really great idea and then na monanga na lori na nilisikia ni kama anakuwa na lori so sio kama anafanya biashara ya mawe na mchanga so he can source the materials easily and cheaply i don't know but maybe i should just introduce myself one of these days so there are some places like this and i wonder mtu ukibai a parcel of land here utajenga aje i don't know kama unachimba tu mpaka ground inakuwa even Masai land is beautiful honestly This neighbor of mine this parcel of land that's fenced hako na shamba kubwa mpaka huko chini past my house na me fence yote I don't know I'm going to take a guess maybe 10 acres or so I don't know Na fencing is not easy wire misumari ah uh, easy posts what else labor transport fencing is not an easy task So I'm jaribu sana to find such a huge piece of land. And that's it guys for this video. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, for sharing, for commenting, for subscribing. I really appreciate your support and I wish you all the best in your endeavors.